Can a 79 pence fish pie really be any good? Let's find out. Hey my friends, it's Pepperoni and look at this. From Lidl, what's cooking? Fish pie. Pieces of Alaska Pollock in a butter sauce topped with potato and cheese. Oven cook or microwave? I'm going to microwave mine for 11 minutes. So here it is my friend, straight out of the microwave. On top we have 2% coloured cheddar cheese sat on top of all of this mash which makes up 49% of this dish. It's got some nice flowery patterns, I'll give it that. So let's delve in. It feels very creamy indeed under those prongs. Yeah, it's nice to play with that, nice and smooth. As we bring up some of the different colours from underneath, we get different hues on the potatoes. You best start digging around properly actually because it's only 15% pollock. Looking good from here. Looks like some kind of dinosaur or lizard looking straight at us with his eyes on the side of his head. As usual, I'm like the way the microwave has made these harder edges, particularly up here, because we all like a cheesy edge. And I'm also liking this kind of cardboardy tray that it's come in. It feels a bit more pleasing to hold it over a plastic one. Now this fishy fella will give you 357 calories, 13.4 grams of fat, of which 5.7 grams is saturated fat. I'm liking this little mash starfish that's trying to hide away in the corner. And look at this cheesy spooky character going ooh at us. Overall I'd say it's got a pleasant colour and a rather nice aroma. So it's time to get involved. As it's only 15% of Pollock, we better start with that just in case I can't find any more. Right, here we go. Oh yes, that was a decent bit of fish right there. The Pollock has got a perfect chew. It's not slimy, it's not too tough either. And it does absolutely taste just like Pollock should. I'll try and get some of the mash on its own next. That's really good. <laughs> it's nicely seasoned and it is quite creamy. The upper bit is a little bit firmer, but that's okay because it adds to the texture. Okay, let's have a nice cheesy bite. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm not kidding you. The mash is seasoned anyway, but when you put some of that mature cheddar, because it's got a bit of cheesy tang to it, it just brings it to another level. And as you dig deeper, you end up with this butter sauce. And I'll tell you this right now, my friends, that butter sauce with this mash is absolutely heavenly. The edge comes off quite nicely. And see, so there's nothing left on the edge when you scrape it away, so you're not gonna waste anything. And it also holds its own rather well, including that extra piece of pollock right at the bottom there. Decent wobble. Speaking of which, let's have an edge. Marvellous, it's a little bit chewy, but it's not bad chewy, you know, it actually assists in the pleasure of ploughing through this. There's enough of that butter sauce to deal with the amount of mash that's in that tray. And although there's only 15% pollock, it is a value product, but the flavour of the dish is incredible. Tiny bit of salt, maybe nine out of 10 to this wonderfully flavourful last bite. Mmm. So what's cooking fish pie? These things can swim into my gob any day of the week you like. What a fantastic, cheap, tasty product. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. Please. Oh, sounds like we're gonna have a thunderstorm. Here we go. What do you like thunder? Apart from when I'm filming. Nah. And as you dig further, you... Uh, 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 um, no, it's not fishy. Yeah. These kids... Uh.